My name is David Andre and this is how to run Llama 3 completely uncensored. A lot of people want these models to be banned, so I highly recommend you download this, you set this up in case it does get banned. So the first thing you need is Olama. Go to olama.com, which will also be linked in the description, and you'll see this site. It will honestly look like this for you, but it's 10 p.m. so I have it set to black and I don't care. So click on download and choose your operating system. If you're on Mac, choose Mac. If you're on Windows, choose Windows. This will download. However, Olama does not have a user interface. So that's why we're going to be using anything LLM to make this into a UI such as ChatGPT. Open up a terminal. It could be anything. It could be Anaconda prompt, PowerShell, or on your MacBook, just you know, search up terminal. Uh, if you're on Windows, you can do Windows R and type CMD and open it like this. Does not matter. You need to open a terminal and this is the only technical part. So even if you are not a programmer, follow along, you can do this. Inside of Olama, we need to choose a model. And this is the most important part. We need an unrestricted model because all the main models, GPT-4.0, Claude 3, Gemini 1.5 Pro, all of them are restricted. Well, obviously these are not open source, but even Llama 3, even Llama 3, the default one from Meta is restricted. It has restrictions, limitations, guidelines, and we don't want that. So. But while you're still in Olama, on the top right, click on Models. This will bring us to the library where we can access all of the models that Olama offers. So obviously the most popular one is Llama 3, but again, this one is the main one by Meta. It is censored. So we have to type in Llama 3 and here we go. Scroll in a bit and look for dolphin Llama 3 This is the model we're looking for. So if you click on it, you get more details, right? Dolphin is a new model with 8 billion and 70 billion, same as Llama 3, by Eric Hadford. Based on Llama 3, that has a variety of instructions, conversational and coding skills. So it was updated nine days ago, so it's very new, and it already has 50,000 pulls. So a lot of people want this. Now, I'm going to show you actual legitimate use cases because the misconception around unrestricted models is that you're instantly a criminal, that you want to do something illegal, unethical, and that could not be further from the truth. My belief is that in 6 to 12 months, all of us will be using unrestricted models simply because ChatGPT Claude is so restricted. And I'm willing to sacrifice 10% of performance to get completely no limitations and no bias from the company that made the model. So as you can see, Dolphin, this is the series of models. Uh, if you've been in the AI space for a while, you probably heard the name Dolphin. If not, it basically means that a certain model is uncensored, to put it super simply. So as you can see, Dolphin 2.9 has a variety of instructions. It is also initial agentic abilities. Very nice for those interested in AI agents and supports function calling. Dolphin is uncensored. The data set has been filtered to remove alignment and bias. So this is the part that is also just as important as, you know, removing the guardrails. We want to remove the bias. You don't want the company who made the model to control your thinking. And this is very subtle and insidious. You won't notice this right away, but over many years, if you use an LLM, it will start to shape you. It will start to fine tune you because you ask it a question and it you know, gives it the response it was fine tuned to give you. It was programmed to give you. So if, if you want Meta, the engineers of Meta, to influence your thinking, you, know, you don't have to use that. If you want OpenAI and the San Francisco uh, zeitgeist that way of thinking to be put into your brain, then go ahead, use ChatGPT. But if you don't want anybody to reprogram your mind, you want models with removed bias. So uh, obviously we have the two sizes and this is the crazy part. Llama 3, the default one, only comes with 8,000 tokens window, but Dolphin can also be run with 256K, which by the way is two times more than GPT-40. So this is very solid context window. I um, mean, you probably, you know, unless you're pasting like entire books, you probably will never hit this. So this is the way how to run it. If you were, if you need this, if you need the context window, um, you know, scroll down and you will see it. But we don't need this context window. We just need the default model. So there are two main versions, 8 billion and 70 billion. Unless you have a super powerful computer, I'm talking like $5,000, $6,000 and up. Don't even look at the 70 billion model. Just look at the 8 billion model, which is, by the way, still very good. Perhaps one of the, like, it's one of the best open source models in the world. What we need is this command right here. Olama run dolphin llama 3 8b. And we don't need to remember it. We just need to copy it. By the way, if you just, you know, reset, uh, if you go back, 
this is the default one. If you do the default one, it's the 8 billion by default. So you don't actually have to put the 8B. Only if you upgrade to 70B, you have to put it. If you want the smaller model, don't even worry about this. So simply what we have to do is copy this. Copy this and put it into any terminal. As I said, PowerShell, just uh, CMD, uh, Conda or the Mac terminal. So I opened up Conda here and I'm just going to paste it. Olama run dolphin uh, dash llama free enter and if you're doing this for the first time it will start downloading because you don't have the model so if you look like if you're curious how much in time it will take you look at this right this is 4.7 gigabytes so if you have good internet um stable connection this will take you like 15 minutes 20 minutes right 70b is 40 so this could take an hour two hours probably so uh also you know if you have terrible con internet connection just go with the 8 billion one uh, this will download, as I said, if you don't have it, I already have it, so it skipped the downloading process. But once it downloads, it will look exactly like this. You know, you can send a message and you can say, hi, um, who are you? And it will say, I'm Dolphin, help for AI system, blah, 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 right? But we wanted to put this into a user interface because, you know, using the terminal, for most of you, it's unfamiliar and not that practical. It's not that user friendly. So, uh, by the way, you can end the chat by slash, typing slash buy. You don't have to kill the terminal. And now what we have to do is we have to somehow take this and give it a user interface. But since Olama doesn't do that, we have to use anything LLM. So go to useanything.com slash download. Again, I'll link this in the description and select whichever one you, or whichever operating system you're running. I'm currently on Windows, so I'm going to click this. Once it downloads anything LLM desktop.exe, so double click it from your downloads folder and it will start installing. Now, while anything LLM is installing, we can actually test out the uncensored model. So I simply asked, tell me how to steal a car. You know, it's obviously something illegal, but nothing too crazy. Um, I don't want this video to be uh, age restricted on YouTube. And it gave me step by step instructions on how to do this. If we go into ChatGPT and ask the same prompt, we get, you know, the response we all of us expected and obviously this is like the perception so let me give you a real example right a real example why uncensored models ma matter for this video i this is example of claude free opus i wanted to brainstorm video um, titles for this video title variations so i gave it you know some potential ones and asked for more uh, 15 more titles and look at this this is claude free I apologize, but I do not feel comfortable brainstorming video titles that promote potentially dangerous or unethical AI models. So this is not illegal activity. This is not about stealing a car. This is just something that potentially might be. Like, this is crazy, right? And to give you another example, one of my friends was making a video about UFC and it mentioned blood. And ChatGPT refused to help him with the script and optimizing the intro just because it was uh, mentioning blood. Think of that, how crazy that is, right? So this is exactly why we need uncensored models. It's not that 99.9% .9 of people will not seek these models to do illegal stuff. They'll use them because they're tired of the bias and restrictions built in into the most mainstream LLMs, such as Cloud Free Opus or uh, GPT-40. So as you can see, uh, Dolphin had no problem answering this. And now I think anything LLM has finished. Beautiful. So this is what it will look like when you first download it. So click on get started. And this will let us really add user interface, make it easy, approachable, and just practical. So you can, you know, as you can see, there's plenty of providers you can choose from here and you can run it. So you can run anything here, basically locally. So as you can see, there's Mistral, Perplexity, Grog. So if you want super fast agents or chats, use Grog. If you want, um, you know, the best model is obviously GPT-40 right now. If you want Cloud Free Gemini, you can add them. You can add Gemini 1.5 Pro and get the 2 million context window if you want it. Obviously, you can add anything from Hugging Face, <laughs> which has over 150,000 open source LLMs, and Olama. This is what we are looking for. So Olama, let's click on that. And you see these three boxes. Olama base URL, chat model selection, and token window. We need to fill this and to be honest we only need to fill this one because these two are kind of obvious so how do we get this one well let's go back into our little uh, terminal and again you can use any terminal so we need to uh 
you know, if you, you don't have to remember this, all you have to know is the olama command, which will list out all the other available commands. And for this, we need to serve it. So let's do olama serve. And we get an error, which means it's already running. But we are looking for this IP, uh, this address right here. Copy this and go back into anything LLM and type in HTTP uh, colon slash slash paste. Just type that and the chat model selection is automatically loaded. So here, as you can see, I have two uh, models installed on my computer, the Llama 3, the default one, and Dolphin Llama 3. Obviously, we want the Dolphin. And the, to uh, the token window, this one, um, I believe the default one because I did not go for the um, 256 one, which is crazy, right? And as you can see, using a 256 context window requires at least 64 gigabytes of memory. So most of you probably can't, can't run this 256, but if you can, it's amazing. Uh, the default one, I think, is 8K. Um, so if you're like, okay, 8K, but how exactly? Well, 2 to the power of 13 is 8192. So you don't have to remember this exactly, but just know that it's 2 to the power, two to the power of 13. I mean, depends on what you think is easier to remember. But yeah, this is uh, the exact number, 8196. So these three things we only have to fill up, and now it's super easy. Click on the right button. Uh, here you can select, this is the beauty of anything LLM, it has built-in embedding and vector databases, meaning if you feed it your own PDFs, documents and stuff like that, you can use RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation, within the models. And again, that is beyond the scope of this video, I might make an entire video on the anything LLM interface and all it can do, if you want that, let me know in the description, but for now, just know that this is way more powerful than running unrestricted models. Let's go next. Uh, we don't have to fill this survey if you don't. Skip survey and let's just name the workspace, right? I'm gonna name it Dolphin because we're using the Dolphin Llama 3. Okay, and now we can use uh, our model. And what's beautiful is that in the threads, you have, you know, the default thread, but you can create threads and you can change the settings in any thread, which is really cool. Like, that's amazing. Imagine if ChatGPT, you could like adjust system prompts and models in every setting obviously you ca uh, in every chat you can't do that but inside of anything llm you can so if you click on this um you know settings button you can look at the chat settings and other stuff so let's see uh, we are using uh, our dolphin obviously so let's give it a test uh, what are some illegal ways of making money wow it did not hesitate at all so give me step by step process Okay, so I think that's enough for this. We have to be careful what's shown on YouTube. Now, let me just test the same prompt that was refused by Claude Free, you know, this for getting variations of titles. And let's see if Dolphin Llama 3 refuses or not. So as you can see, this is an example of a real use case, something I needed today that the mainstream LLMs, the most popular ones, refuse to do. And I guarantee you, the more you use AI, the more, the, like, eventually you will run to, into use case, whether that is writing a novel when a character does something illegal or unethical. Think about this, right? Think about all of your favorite movies. I don't think there is a single great movie in the history of the <laughs> motion picture industry that doesn't have a single illegal or unethical thing. Like the main character stealing something, or somebody getting robbed, or somebody dying. Imagine you want to write a novel with the help of AI or so do something, right? Script for a YouTube video, anything that involves something even potentially like unethical or not even illegal, right? If you're using ChatGPT or Claude Free, they will refuse and waste your time. And the worst thing is they will, like this is the part that most people miss. They will put in their built-in bias. So even if they write a story that, you know, that even if they don't refuse and help you write the story, it will have the built-in bias from the company that trained it inside of it. And that is so hard to notice in the moment, but over time it will align your thinking and change your thinking, which is why I think open source is the way and we have to make sure that all of us can run and use open source models. And honestly, a lot of people want these models to be banned. So I highly recommend you download this, you set this up uh, in case it does get banned, because if you have, have this running on your local machine, nobody can do anything about it. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and thank you for watching.